whether you're conducting research or working with patients, you need to correctly identify who has a disease and who does not. Don't worry, Sketchy is here to teach you all about diagnostic testing. You can bank on it. The one and only Statlock Fox has been called to the bank because someone swapped out the real currency with fakes. Like detective work, screening or diagnosing someone with a disease is all about detecting the presence or absence of a specific disease marker. In fact, this is often referred to as detection or diagnostic testing. When it comes to diagnostic tests, no test is 100% perfect at revealing the universal truth. However, at this bank, we trust in gold, which will help us remember a very important concept, the gold standard test. Now, gold standard tests come pretty close to matching the universal truth. Thus, we accept their results as true and correct to a very high degree, and they are the standard by which we compare all else. But keep in mind that the gold standard test may not be the one that's acceptable to the patient or the one that's the most practical for the healthcare system. For example, colonoscopy is considered a gold standard test for detecting colon cancer, but the invasive nature of the test and the pre-procedural prep may not be acceptable to your patient. In contrast, the fecal immunochemical test, or FIT test, is non-invasive and requires no prep, and so may be an acceptably reliable alternative to the gold standard in most cases. When new or alternative tests are developed, we must compare them to the gold standard to determine how accurate they really are. But how do we measure accuracy? When it comes to test performance, there are a few metrics you should become familiar with. Sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value. Haha, <laughs> fool's gold! You thought it was real, but you've been fooled. Much like this duped bank teller, test results can have clinicians and patients tricked into believing one thing when the real truth is still out there. It's important to have a critical eye and to keep in mind that a test result, whether positive or negative, may actually be false. These false test results can have unintended consequences. For instance, a falsely positive test can subject one to further unnecessary testing and treatment, while a falsely negative test can provide one with a false sense of reassurance and delay a true diagnosis.